Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the content collector tool in Adobe InDesign. This is great if you're transferring over content such as images, text frames, other patterns or assets from one document to another. Typically the traditional way is to copy it, paste it into the new document and then rearrange things as you need. What this does, the content create or content collector as well as the content placer tool allows you to have a little bit more control when you're placing things from one document to another. I'll show you what I mean. So what I have here is a simple mood board that I created and it's got various uh, images, some text, um, patterns and I'm going to collect this content and bring it into another similar size document using the content uh, collector and then place it in. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go up to File, New, Document, and I'm just going to create the same size document as I have here. So it's 12 inches by 8 inches, landscape, one page, so it's the same setup. And I'm just going to hit Create, and so there's my new document there. Uh, normally I, I would put some guides, create guides on here, but for today I'm just going to leave it blank. Let's go back to our original uh, document here, and to get to the content collector tool. Um, it's the fourth one from the top as you see here. If you hover over it says content placer. Um, if you click and hold it just go to content collector because we have to collect the content first. You can also just uh, press B on your keyboard to toggle between the placer and the collector. So let's go ahead and let's use the collector first and you're gonna see that this window or this little panel pops up. What that, what that does is, as I'm going to move it down just a bit, as I'm collecting my content, it's going to start building into this conveyor. And I can go into my next uh, document and start dropping it in. So let's get started. I'm going to hover over some of the elements that I do want to collect. So I want to grab this image. There is the first one that I picked. Let's go ahead and click this image. Uh, let's grab this pattern. Let's grab this couch. Um, and let's grab these colors, okay? And so I'm let's just say that I wanted to bring this into another document. I've already set one up here. I'm going to go to it. And as you can see, I'm still in the collector uh, tool. And so I want to get into the placer tool. Otherwise, I can't start laying things out. So again, you could just click on this and hold for the placer. Or just go B to go back and forth to toggle. So now I'm in my placer. As you can see, I have a loaded cursor here with all the elements that I grabbed off the previous layout. And you could just start clicking and it's gonna start um, putting the elements into this layout. But what I like about this is I can have a little bit more control and just click and drag. So let's say I wanted something like that for that image. And there's my second image. And let's just say, you know, you wanted to put it up here something like that and there's one of the patterns so maybe I'll have it bleed off the page a little bit like I did in my other version and I can fix that after if I go into my direct selection tool and start messing things messing with things um, I want to finish this process first so uh, there's the couch so let's make it down below and at this point you're just placing things it's not it's not at the point where you're kind of fine-tuning you're getting things onto the layout and then you can start rearranging as needed. Here are my um, color samples pulled from the previous layout. And the cool thing about this is it keeps the formatting. So because I had a fill on these uh, circles with um, uh, thick strokes, those strokes go up, they pull over too. So you can see I had a white stroke on each of these. So I can just put them in as so, and then I, again, I can, I can tailor these as needed afterwards. Okay, so there's another one, and here's, and then it goes, reverts back to, so it reverts back to the first one. So um, to get out of it, just go back to your selection tool, and now you can start rearranging things as needed. So I can collect these colors, go up to my alignment panel, and I can align them 
so they're um, evenly spaced out as well so go ahead and do that and so if I wanted this to be a little bit bigger go ahead and make it a little bit bigger click the donut go to your content aware fit button to make that fit okay so here's where you can start rearranging things so just going back to the content placer uh, content collector a couple things to note so I'm in the collector I can collect things and then move them to another layout right but they stay here in your conveyor um, if I go back to B right when you're placing these onto a page what you have these options down below too so I'm having it when I place it you place it keep in the conveyor and load the next element in your cursor you can also have it set where you place it and then remove it completely from the conveyor and load the next one so if you were doing if you were pulling these from one layout to another and you just simply wanted to drop it in and then get rid of it from the from the conveyor that's how you would do it okay so that's today's tutorial I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll talk to you soon bye now